My name is Gregory. Um, I'm a, a YouTuber. Been using YouTube and making YouTube videos for a few years, but I'm starting a whole new series of working on guitars and tools and uh, Hackintosh computers, of all things, and uh, general woodworking, uh, including um, I make uh, shaker style doors. Um, my family owns a few uh, apartment buildings and one of them is from the early 70s and I've been going in there and replacing the old style doors with shaker style doors, which is uh, a not easy endeavor. But primarily I work on guitars. And this video that I'm gonna to show today is going to be making these fret leveling uh, files small one which was the initial one and this larger one uh, they do make these commercially for 50 or 60 bucks and I thought well that's a bit crazy because the file isn't very expensive and I've got wood sitting around this like construction Douglas fir like this just sitting around um, and I didn't use anything tricky I used a, uh, a bandsaw, which I have, which I had to replace the blade. That's the hardest thing. Um, but you could do it with a jigsaw. And uh, I cut the, uh, the files ends off with a uh, uh, grinder and uh, did a little bit of work on the grinder. So basically you just need a grinder, uh, you know. Oh, by the way, this is my assistant. Who's barking? Hello, Jessica. She's not in the camera, but she's over here. And uh, can you please be quiet while Dada is talking? Okay. A um, couple of the guitars that I have in the can working on um, are this one, which I built a few years ago, but I've got the whole procedure of building this. This is a, a body I found on eBay. Uh, it's a sort of a, well, it's a Les Paul Special Telecaster hybrid. It's set up for a tele neck, because as you know, tele necks have a different ending than a Stratocaster neck. Um, it's wired as a Telecaster. It's got these uh, quiet coil P90s. I do have a video of this, of me showing this off uh, from a few years ago. But uh, I do have video of me putting this together, and this came out really good. Um, another one that I'm going to start working on is this, along with another strat. It's going to be the tail of two strats. This is a piece of junk uh, fender. What do they call it? A star caster. And it's got this ugly peg head that I'm going to cut off this part and attach it to here and turn it into a Telecaster uh, headstock. Uh, we're gonna replace the frets because these are these little tiny frets. Uh, the bridge we're gonna leave alone. I uh, might take some of the springs out of it. Um, new, new pickups, SSH, get rid of this terrible switch. You know these terrible switches they put in these cheap guitars. I've already got the switch. I might just end up using the wiring harness and just change out the switch. Uh, this is for a friend of mine. Uh, he's not the wealthiest of guys. So we got this guitar for, I think, $80. And, you know, uh, it's just your basic really cheap strat. Uh, the neck is a little bit thin. So I'm not even going to uh, take off the... Uh, uh, the varnish, you can leave it the way it is, new frets, uh, and I'm going to relic it. My first, well, it's not my first relicking job. You should see my Telecaster. My Telecaster is insane. I have a whole video, a bunch of videos shot on it that I'm gonna publish. But uh, I'm asking for the first time on my, my videos, I'm asking to like and subscribe. Um, I'd like to get a few more followers, and I am going to start putting out videos um, at least a few a month, if not weekly. And uh, the first 
set of video. The first video I'm going to do it. I'm going to edit it out of one. Is again making these front leveling uh, file setups. And uh, so here we go. Again, it's nice to meet you. I'm going to have a lot of videos, uh, primarily on guitar. Alrighty, we got a little project I want to do here. This is a picture of a uh, what they call a fret leveling file. Um, I've removed the name so that I don't get in trouble by the manufacturer. Um, and here is the uh, the proposed idea. This is the fret leveling file that I've been using since I don't even want to tell you how long I've been using this. This is my friend. Uh, it used to be a rat tail file. I cut the rat tail off. I uh, worked on the top. I ground off the edge of both both edges. Uh, I've used this forever and I'm not going to stick this on a piece of wood. This is my friend. Uh, it's nice and worn down. Uh, I'm not going to mess with this. I'm going to keep this as it is. This is a file that I got from Harbor Freight for like $4. It's a lot more aggressive than this one. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this edge and cut off this edge with a grinder. It should cut right through it. Um, then I'm going to uh, work on getting the, the edge of both of these edges, the sides, uh, ground down. I'm going to try using a, a really aggressive sander uh, so I don't have to use a grinder. And then I'm going to take a piece of uh, 2x4 that's outside and I'm going to cut it uh, and I'm going to, it's going to be too wide so I'm going to run it through my, uh, my uh, what do you call it, my um, planer to get it to the width this and uh, cut the uh, pattern out on my uh, saw over here and uh, uh, you know work on it you know sand the edges and so so forth and I'm going to glue it with some epoxy to the file to this and instead of spending $40 uh, I'm going to spend about four dollars so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, put the uh, file in the vise and uh, trim it Trim this off and trim this around. This thing's going to be really hot. Okay, that first one wasn't very straight, so I'm going to try to cut this one a little straighter. Again, don't try this at home. I am wearing uh, glasses and I am wearing ear protection. Take this out and take a look. Now I'm going to grind the uh, sides. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I got to get a wrench because I don't want to touch this thing with my uh, fingers. Just put it in the water and then I'm going to turn it around. Okay, the other side. 
Again, this thing is a little bit dangerous. You have to be careful with these things. This has no guard. So. really hot. I'm going to grind the uh, the curve. pretty good. Take it out of the vise. It's not pretty, but it's going to work. And we're going to put it back in the vise. And uh, I'm going to hit this with a sander when I'm done to even it out. This is going to be the tail end. Okay. Now we're going to cut the piece of uh, wood. Okay, after all this, I've decided that this is just too short. So I have this file, which is actually a little bit better to use because it's a little bit more beat up. Um, it's a little bit more like this. And I'm going to sacrifice this file, which I've obviously used a lot over the years, but I don't see any uh, great need for it now. And I'm just gonna chop it off right here um, and then just use this. Uh, because again, this is a little bit too short for doing fret work. Uh, so that was just sort of a dry run through. I'm gonna finish this small one. I'm gonna make two of them, one long and one short, and the shorter one will be more, will be more aggressive. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it off right here and make a long one. And again, this is a really old file. out do not want to touch a flaming piece of metal with your hands Get this in back. and we're going to come back and grind the sides okay I'm gonna grind the sides Turn it around. 
It's going to be hot, so I don't want to touch it. So I'll cool it down. That's fine. done anyway it fell out okay uh i'm gonna do the same thing with the edges and then we're gonna start cutting up the wood okay so uh off camera uh i had some problems with my uh my ryobi saw i realized that the uh the blade was shot so i had to order a couple of new ones uh amazon and i got the ones with uh, much smaller teeth and boy, it just cuts like butter. So I cut the uh, wood down uh, for both of them. And then I glued them with epoxy, glued the uh, files uh, and cleaned them up a little bit. And uh, there's a smaller one. So this is the what I'm basing it on. So I'm doing a rough, uh, cut out of this and this and uh, then I'm going to uh, uh, finish it off with the uh, I don't have a spindle sander but I've got spindles that go in the uh, drill my uh, my drill over here and uh, that should be able to clean it up and then I'll so I just work away on it and then I'll hit it with some uh, some finish and we'll be done and I got, so I have, got to have ear protection. And then I'm going to turn on the vacuum. Okay, now I've got a, a light on my head.
pretty good. Now we're going to uh, sand it. Okay. This is uh, basically because I don't have room or don't want to buy yet a uh, spindle sander. I'm going to use the um, Going to use this, and then we're going to sand it away. I do have to replace this uh, at some point. That's pretty good. I'm gonna hit this with a regular sander and now I'm gonna go on the little one. I have to replace this, I, got, I have others. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of the sanding with the uh, with the uh, orbital, and we're going to see how we look. So after I hit it with the uh, orbital, which is this one, and then I hit it with my Roby Ryobi uh, palm sander, these came out pretty good. And uh, I'm going to hit them with some shellac outside and. Uh, they should be done. So on to the next project.